The processes of scientific work is exactly the structure you will follow in your thesis and which we have just discussed. You will start with the introduction in which you show the interest of your work and in which you formulate your research. Generally, the introduction is written at last. It's the last step of a research. You don't start the introduction at the beginning. So once you have finished everything, you write your introduction. But then you do the literature review, which enables you to formulate a research question or hypothesis. This is the first part. Then you have the second part, which is the main part, where you have a question, you develop the questionnaire, you develop your methodology, so qualitative or quantitative design, you show the results, and in the last part, you show, do your discussion with the literature review, you show your contribution, managerial theoretical contribution, and you finish with limits of your work, because no work is perfect, and you show future researchers, which means how other researchers should continue your work. And by the way, it is the first step when you're doing the literature review, how you can find your research question. Because future research directions are indicators what should be done in the future, how contribution can be done in the future. So when reading an article, you might start reading the research directions in order to find your research problem. And you have in the document you have the directories, and the graphics, the figures you have, the tables you have, and you have at the end the bibliography with your citations, and the appendix, and that is uh, all the stuff of analysis coming from our of SPSS, our interview guides, can be, should be put in the appendix. So all what you don't judge very useful in the main document, which would make the reading too heavy, should be put at the end in the appendix. So this is the structure of your thesis, but also of a traditional journal article. So you start with a summary, abstract, and what are the main contributions, main results of your work, then introduction, literature review, and defini concept definitions, research questions, or hypothesis, methodology, sampling, data collection, and uh, data analysis, what data analysis you perform, results, discussion of the results, theoretical, methodological, or management contributions, limits, research directions, and then bibliography and So this is the document that you have to realize for your thesis. With all these chapters, you can use templates, so what is the research process, research process you perform? You start with the scientific formulation of your research problem, and you have an idea about the topic, so you start to do a literature review, so that's the first step. But you might also, in a qualitative approach, survey experts. You might ask managers or professors or any person's expert in the domain to give you feedback about a topic. And for example, if you're dealing with online gaming so with, with, with gamers, it would make sense to do uh, some kind of ethnography and to discuss with experts in the gaming uh, That is clearly people who are playing games online. If it's working about e-health, it would make sense to approach experts, that is doctors or experts of the health industry. In research you can use principally literature. If you don't have a lot of literature in a qualitative approach, it makes sense uh, to gather information and to discuss with experts in the domain. It's a more qualitative approach. From this, you might develop, if you're doing a quantitative approach, your conceptual model, which are actually your hypotheses. If you're choosing a qualitative approach with research questions, you rather use non-random samples, as a convenient samples. You use uh, your preliminary assumptions and you develop a theory. On the other hand, if you work in in a quantitative approach, you have to define your sample. Uh, either use a random sample, either you use a quota sampling in order to a representative sample. You will use quantitative methodology and you will reject or confirm your hypothesis. So in summary, these are the different steps in your research process. You start with the formulation of the problem, you develop a conceptual model in a quantitative approach or research questions for a qualitative approach, then you select the survey method. If you do qualitative research, then you work on your research question and have a non-random sample. 
and try to answer your research question. If you're doing a quantitative approach, you're doing a sampling approach, measure your model with hypotheses and empirical quantitative data, and you do the falsification test and confirm or reject and reformulate your theory.